styles backwards. Um, I don't know if I can see myself. I hear it's a better camera if I turn it around, but um, uh, I don't have time to worry about that. Um, how are we doing? Uh, number one, um, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> I wanted to make it clear that, um, none of this is some kind of hoax and, um, coming into my house and taking my beautiful, um, Laramar earrings that I like to wear a lot of the time um, is not going to like they're not charmed they don't have special speakers in them um, so it would be cool if nobody came into my house and took my things anymore I would appreciate that um, and I knew well I didn't know what was happening but I knew last night when um, it was kind of public information that I was not going to be at home and then later that night when I confirmed that I wasn't going to be home then um, <clears throat> all of a sudden I couldn't talk um, and so that stone uh, that is in my earrings is really good for protecting your uh, throat chakra um, and it is helpful to me but that's not to say I need it it's very beautiful and you know it's not um, it's not more powerful than like I am within my body um, you know it can be a, a help but they're really pretty and I really wanted to get something nice for myself so that's why I bought those um, so whoever took them I guess enjoy I don't think you should do that but we already went over that and um, <sighs> what can you do um, but stop coming in my house looking for things that you're not gonna find. Like, <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing secret. There's nothing that I can do that you can't do if you go through the same process. So, it's your faith that gets you there. And if you're not willing to try or willing to be open to that, or if you want to, um, you know, try to get to these things um, in a way that is just not kind or not working uh, for the good of everyone that just won't go well for you so and plus it's just in, like it's intrusive this is my house this is where I live um, especially you know in my really personal space like it's easier to come right out and ask if you want something from me um, anyway, that being said, uh, Luke chapter 16, oh, but <laughs> I should also mention that, um, I pretty much prepare myself for everything. So if you think I wouldn't be prepared for that to happen, um, you're incorrect. Also, if you come, just like everything that I have in my house, if you come into my house, you're going to leave an energy signature and then I'm just going to ask who came into my house and um, it's not that difficult so am I surprised not I mean I guess not as much as I thought I would be after I thought about it but um cut it out <laughs> all right anyway Luke chapter 16 verse 16 says this it says that the law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. So, this is what I mean. Um, before that time, you know, the way that God would speak to, to people is typically through, you know, a prophet, whoever he, you know, singled out to take these messages to the people and decided they were going to be his voice here on earth and communicate with the people. Um, and, you know, we had the law written by Moses that the people were supposed to observe. So that was basically the guide for like, this is what God said we're supposed to do, do these things and you'll be in the good. Well, when Jesus came, to um, 
be born into the flesh and live in the world that we lived in and experience all the temptations that we experience and um, basically to be a human sacrifice for us. That was, you know, not to evaporate the, the importance of the law. Like there are things that are important that are still a guide, but that he came here to show us that the way <laughs> to reach the kingdom of God is to follow in his footsteps and pay attention to um, the lessons that he taught us. Because in doing so, it becomes clear what's important and what's not important and how we are to treat each other in order to reach this um, level of community and peace. And it's becoming more urgent every day that we're able to do this. Um, I don't really know why anyone would go through so much effort to... You know, not just me, people trying to gather up all the, all the money <laughs> in the world. And what good is that going to do you? Let's just say, um, you know, I don't know how quickly, you know, anything is going to snowball, but we know, you know, that there's going to be tension, that we're going to have international problems more than we do now. We're going to have war. We're going to have conflict. We're going to have problems with our food, with our water. Um, so I don't think that our concern should be gathering up each other's money. Because what good will that do you? Um, when Lazarus... <laughs> was parked helpless outside the rich man's gate. This is also, you know, in Luke. And he just wanted, like, some crumbs from the rich man's table. And he didn't help him. And Lazarus died. So, you know, it says that Lazarus was taken into Abraham's bosom, you know. And so even though he was poor and he suffered in this life, you know, that ultimately he was taken care of. You know, he, the people who had plenty didn't give to him what they could have, um, you know, didn't offer him information or um, a safe place to heal. You know, it didn't, like nobody nourished him, even though there was enough, there was plenty. Um, so, then the rich man goes to hell and uh, <laughs> says, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water to cool my tongue, for I am tormented in his flame. And uh, <laughs> Abraham's like, nah, <laughs> you did this to yourself, right? So then he's like, well, at least send Lazarus in the spirit to witness to my five brothers. Um, because surely they will, you know, they'll listen. Because he didn't listen. At least save my family, he says. And Abraham says, nah. They have the law and they have Moses. So just like you didn't listen to the law and listen to Moses, like there, there will come a time where it's like there's no more chances. Um, don't let it get to there, you know? Uh, I know it's difficult to understand if you don't spend like a lot of your time studying these things, but I'm trying to put it in like everyday terms because it's not a bunch of hocus pocus. It's not a bunch of rules. These are lessons to harmonize <laughs> the vibes between the people. To understand that, you know, if you reach out a little bit and say, okay, if you think about everything that you do, and this isn't my original idea, and I can't remember where it came from, but, you know, whatever a wise man said, um, you know, what if everybody did that? Um, 
that's kind of the way that I decide what I'm going to do. If everybody did what I'm doing, would that benefit everyone? Would it benefit both parties the most? Or is it going to cause more disruption or more imbalance? You know, and you know, people can say that, you know, I <laughs> do things wrong and that I should save up my money, save up, you know, and that that's true. That's true for most people. But I think the most important thing is that we do what we know God is leading us to do, knowing with full faith that uh, he's going to come through for you. And it's a scary thing to do. Do you think it's that, like, I guess it would be more scary, and it was definitely scary the first few times that this happened to me. Um, but you have to trust what God is saying, even if it's counterintuitive, even if, even if it goes against what, you know, the wisdom of the world is telling you. But you have to always put the Word of God first and study the Word, talk to God, ask for His confirmation, and I can't make you understand that. Um, if God isn't your thing, you know, if you're not looking for uh, <laughs> something higher vibrational to live by, I can't convince you of that. Um, the only thing that I can convince you with is I have been the most spoiled, lucky person that I have ever met, pretty much. And not just in material things, like, and yes, I have, I have depression, I have issues, it's been like, I've been through some horrible things, but as like, as many lows as I experienced, there are, you know, as many or more miracles that just like bring me out of it. And eventually you have to realize like, okay, what did I get from this? Like, what do I know from this situation? Because if you found yourself in a world where, you know, any day, you know, the, um, the situation between like Russia and Ukraine, like that could be us, like, <laughs> like that could be you if you live, like, and it could be, you know, within your town or whatever. What are you going to do if your world explodes and you don't have electricity and you don't have, um, family nearby? Or if you do have family, they are, you know, judgmental or, you know, they think you're possessed by demons or, you know, who knows what they think. Um, what do you do if all of a sudden money doesn't matter? If all of a sudden these things aren't provided for you? Um, like, we need to think together and we need to think fast because... Things are just going to become more volatile. So, you know, a lot of the things I say, yes, like I am, I joke about a lot of things and I see the humor and everything, but that doesn't mean that I'm not serious. And the things that I talk about, you know, maybe um, I like to have fun with stories and words, but that doesn't mean that I'm making fun. Like, you know, I, that's why I didn't call this making fun of Jesus because I don't, <laughs> I'm not really, you know, I, I don't want to give anybody the wrong impression. I have the greatest respect uh, for Jesus Christ is my first personal hero um, and always will be. And I'm talking about these things because it's been on my heart for so long and because I don't think it's as simple as, <laughs> I know it's not as simple as uh, a bunch of rules and do what God says or you go to heaven or hell. This is, you know, it's simple. I don't want to say it's more complicated. It's, it's thorough, you know. And if people don't learn to Work, like put their egos aside and understand that number one if you have faith God is going to provide everything you need even if it doesn't seem like that's happening number two there is enough for everyone there is no lack of anything so spend all your energy running around gathering up all the resources 
that could be obsolete tomorrow or focus your energy on what could we do better you know how can we work together better because what's going to happen is you're going to have you know some people that have tons and tons and tons of resources and you're going to have some people that have none and the only <laughs> the only moment that matters is now so i'm telling you for damn sure if i have two sandwiches to my knee and like i'm hungry and my neighbor's hungry my neighbors get a sandwich you know and you knowing full well that i trust god with everything and i know that the next time i'm hungry probably before i'm hungry i'm gonna get more than enough and it's so hard <laughs> to believe that it's so hard but it's true it's absolutely the truth and there's so much happiness in that and I, i'm not saying like the the hard parts of life the depression everything doesn't go away but it's just like it kind of happens you allow it you feel it you let it out and then you can analyze what you need to do because <laughs> you let go of the reaction so i really think that's something that we need to practice um not that I want to say a hundred thousand things and I don't want anyone to think so it's funny yesterday I was in a hurry and I needed to leave and I wanted to um I guess I'm not cool enough to do live ones yet but I wanted to record something that was so special to me and I did the whole thing and it was like it flowed and it was awesome and I was so happy with it and I guessed uh, I just didn't record it. I only recorded <laughs> like a couple of seconds at the beginning. But just because I was like my whole heart was in it and I said it out loud and I got it out of my body, I was so unburdened. So maybe that's a good practice. I don't know, just to say it out loud and get it out. Um, but because I know uh, some people do watch these and do listen to what I say and I think we should definitely you know make amends where we've gone wrong and um my whole i guess i'll just quickly say what i thought i was <laughs> i thought i did such a good job saying yesterday but i just said it to myself um because we like none of us are perfect and you know i went through a lot of things and there was um there have been several people, one person in particular who I I just loved so much. Uh, this person was such a wonderful person. Um, and always, always, like, he was so loyal to me and so kind all the time. And, you know, um, out of my own trauma, I was so horrible to him. And I, I didn't ever mean to be. And I didn't really realize what I was. And I, and, and I you know, somebody else, um, a mutual uh, friend, did, like, call me out on it. And I'm not mad at that because she was right. Um, you know, and I realized it. And I was like, oh, she's right. And it's not, you know, I did apologize. But I didn't realize that when I was just expressing myself, feeling sorry for myself, about what wasn't working and feeling betrayed in this um, friendship that really was so important to me. Um, I was so concerned with how it was affecting me and how I felt slighted that I, you know, needed to voice it. And, you know, I talked to my coworkers about it and some of my friends and that wasn't the right thing to do because a lot of those people, like we had these, uh, mutual friends and it was coming from a place even though I didn't mean to hurt this person that's not you know I thought that I you know I was trying to work out a problem that I had and talking about it with my friends ignoring that we know all the same people and not thinking about how that gossip really could negatively affect this person and I had been carrying that around for, you know, all these years still. Like, I, I miss him so much. He was so wonderful to me. And I've 
was so angry with myself and disappointed that, you know, I ruined that friendship. And I'll never forget that. And so, you know who you are if you're, you know, watching this, if you ever get to see it. I'm so sorry that I did that. And I didn't, you know, we have to realize that sometimes when people treat us this way, it's not coming from a hateful place. It's coming from a hurt place. And we really have to learn to have patience uh, with people that are hurtful to us because we're all so broken. And if we don't want to do that to each other, we really need to do the work to figure that out. We realize that, you know, a lot of the times we are our own worst enemy even if we don't know it or if we don't want to admit it. So, and even like I adored this person, but I wasn't right in my head about it. You know, I, w I didn't realize that I was being really selfish in that situation. And the effect that, that, you know, I don't know ultimately what effect that had on his life, but it could have been devastating. And I regret that. So... You know, this isn't just for me, like, to tell everybody what to do. This is, like, hopefully I can say, like, <laughs> this is what I did way wrong. And, you know, I, I put myself in a worse situation, you know, because the way you put out there does come back to you. So, um, I just wanted to repeat that since, you know, I did a lot better job of it last night. But I think that's important. So, that's all. Um, I think we just need to focus on spreading the love and supporting each other and what we can do, you know, as a family, as a community, as a nation to be strong because there's strength in numbers and, you know, we're going to have to get on the same page probably, um, you know. Not just in a hurry, like when we need to be defensive, but I think we need to get it together now. <laughs> uh, so that we're prepared, you know, if anything does happen. So um, that's all. I love all of you so much. And please uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, if these messages are helpful, I would love to send the good vibes to as many people as possible, not just for religious people. However, I would love to hear and understand, you know, if you, if you want to talk about the same issues from, um, the standpoint of your own beliefs, I would love to do that because, you know, all of our beliefs matter. Um, anywho, thank you. Have a good night.